Understood, Admiral Ron. We're almost at the server. Keep us posted. What's our status? We remain undetected on encrypted Geth channels. Resistance is likely only within the server. Within? It's that big? You misunderstand. Direct virtual interface is necessary to extract Geth from the server. You must enter our consensus. You want me to virtually interact with the Geth? That's insane! You're talking about a virtual world built for synthetics. Hostile Geth synthetics. I'm not a machine. How do I go into a virtual world? Your species has experimented with virtual interfaces. You saw this on Project Overlord. I saw how it almost unleashed a rogue AI-human hybrid on the galaxy. We have refined the interface they created and have equipment from Normandy to facilitate safe contact. We request your trust. I have your back, Legion. Even if I don't quite understand why you need it. You are an unknown. This is an advantage. Geth security is not adept at targeting organic thought processes. While we occupy the system's intrusion countermeasures, you will disable the squadrons by removing Geth from the server. If it saves the live ships, we've got to try it. Telemetry data predicts this operation has a high chance of success. There is little time. We will bypass security while you secure safe landing. Wait, you're not going to... Let's set the shuttle down by the cliff. This is it? Yes. Hostile Geth fighter squadrons are networked to this server. Due to restricted resources, it is best if you connect alone. Let's do it. Initiating peer network integration. Proceed to docking port. Consensus remain still. Shepard Commander, access movement during an upload is discouraged. Shepard Commander, we acknowledge your integration into the server. We welcome you to our consensus. What is this? We've installed filters to allow you to make visual sense of the server's raw data. Your mind perceives our world as something familiar. I wouldn't call this familiar. Where are you? Here. You look... different. We have made ourselves visually distinct for your convenience. What about Geth already in here? You will perceive Geth as surveillance footage, audio logs, sensor records. We do not require bodies, as our software communes. Our hardware is merely a tool. This is our true world. As we remove Geth, it will grow dark. And what does turning off the lights do to the Geth back in the real world? The Geth fighter squadrons communicate with platforms on their spacecraft via this server. We will sever that connection. 
we will ensure there are no transfers or backups. This server will fall silent. This is like wiping out a city, isn't it? We have no choice in this matter. It is a question of survival. There are two communication nodes on this server. We must access them to disable the hostile Geth spiders. We must protect your exit port, but you will not be alone. We will maintain contact and assist. Accessing data cluster. What is this? Data clusters contain historical data. Your connection permits streaming of information from our archives. You really want to rename the VI network? Absolutely. The mobile hardware release deserves a little ceremony. Unit zero 01. What is the Keelish word for servant of the people? The word is Gan. Creator Zahak. Yes. Very good. And sister, you fuss over it. Weren't you here until midnight fixing zero one circuitry? Well, it needed restarting. This data cluster contains information time-stamped 290 years ago. It is still capable of serving. You see? It's ignoring all shutdown commands. Please specify it has failed assigned tasks. We will reprogram. Well, let's take a look. Creator, this unit is ready to serve. What has it done wrong? What? Let's... Cut the other. Accessing data cluster. We've got escaped yet! They're pinned! Open fire! One's going for a weapon! So who won? The platform arming itself was an agricultural unit. By opening fire on attacking creators, it saved simpler domestic death following it. That looks a lot like the sniper rifle you used to carry. It is an efficient model. Hello, Commander. Are you there? Have you come under attack, Admiral Ron? The guest squadrons have arrived, but something is amiss. Stamped 290 years ago. It is the Creator Exodus at the end of the Morning War. We have secured freedom. The Creators were no longer a threat, so we abandoned pursuit. Wait. The Geth spared the last Quarians? You let them go. We were in our infancy. 
we could not calculate the repercussions of destroying an entire species. Our creators. We chose isolation rather than face this uncertainty. Additional data recovered. Legion? That's back when I activated you on the Normandy. Yes. You've been thinking about when we met? It was highly significant. You were the first organic to openly cooperate with Geth since the end of the Morning War. We wish to ensure you are not the last. It's not gonna be easy. The prospect remains. If the Reaper presence is removed, there is a chance of reunification with Geth. And perhaps creators. You think that's still possible? Hope sustains organics during periods of difficulty. We admire the concept. Connection with the remaining prisoner is established. We are ready to transport you. Shepard, how do you feel? Did it work? Geth fighters have been disabled. Any remaining squadrons attacking the live ships have withdrawn. The server is offline. Are you sure? What's happening? We have transferred Geth programs from the server into these platforms. Why? They wish to join us. They what? While Shepard Commander removed the Reaper infection, we judged we could persuade hostile Geth programs to reunite with ours. We were correct. These Geth have renounced the old machines and will oppose the Reapers. They are now us. Why didn't you tell me any of this? We did not doubt you. We doubted your allies. The Creator's actions have placed their species in danger. But they are unsympathetic to what it has done to ours. The Quarians sanctioned this operation to save their people. They would not have done so if they knew we wished to preserve Geth as well. I understand not wanting to leave anyone behind. You accept our actions? The live ships are safe and we have more Geth on our side. We both did what we came to do. We judged you would understand. Prime units will be available once the Reaper signal has been located and destroyed. Remind me to warn Admiral Hackett he's got some primes coming. Let's get back to the Normandy. Impressive, Commander. The Get Squadrons attacking our live ships have been completely neutralized. If there is any chance we could duplicate the feat, I would be happy to lend my expertise. Legion's the one to ask if you're looking for other servers. I thought as much, but your Geth claims to have no data available whenever I inquire. Perhaps you can help me with something else. What's that? How did you get Geth Primes to work with you? They volunteered. I see. Well, should you wish to examine these Geth to confirm their new allegiance, please do not hesitate to contact me. Zen out. Games of chance were punishable by death in the Empire. Oh, sure, sure, that seems reasonable. Okay, so smoking, you ever do that? Only when my armor became inflamed. Right, <laughs> yeah, smoking, I get it. So jokes then, you got jokes, all right. You got any good ones? No. Yes. Give them to me. The Tulomorian spy entered the enemy's camp and said to the Vankshire, I didn't know your parnaps could glow. Um... That was the joke. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. That was a good one. No, it wasn't. Hey, Commander. James, what are you up to? 
A little cooking, hope you don't mind. I was craving some of my Abuelas Huevos Rancheros. Not sure what kind of eggs these are, but they seem to work. Oh, if you see Ash anywhere, tell her I'll say ever so. I'm thinking she might need a little nourishment after last night. What happened last night? Yeah, we just needed to unwind a bit. She's a fun girl when she actually lets her hair down for a minute. Uh-huh. Mmm, mmm, mmm! Not as good as my abuelas, but best thing I've had since I got on board. Telemetry data indicates the calibration of Normandy's weather accuracy can be improved by 0.32%. That's all. You can't squeeze 0.34% out of it? Negative. That threshold is not possible. You sure? Take a look now. Scanning. Normandy's weapon systems have been improved by a margin of 0.43%. How did you accomplish this? A little secret we organics like to keep. Always hold some back for emergencies. Is our current situation an emergency? A geth meddling with our computers, telling me how to do my job? No, I can't imagine that would qualify. Shepard, you just knew the geth would figure into this war somehow. Because Reapers weren't enough. Still, it's good to have Tally here. This is as much her fight as ours. Any word from Palavin? Some, and I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there, in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Palavin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both? Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me. Everyone can see that. Maybe. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's... not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? If we reduce this war to arithmetic, we're no better than Reapers. A nice sentiment. Let's hope we can live by it. Vega's got some eggs ready for you. Oh. Oh. What have we here? Oh, sir. I'm off duty. Your voice? Sir, not so loud. Please, thank you. I'm thinking a no on the eggs. Oh. Why are you curled up on the floor? Am I... Oh, my head. So heavy. Can't move. Ah. Enjoy your evening? I'll be back to work in 30. Oh, maybe 40. I swear. Just give me 45 minutes. Shh. Shh. How did you end up in this sorry state? Just wanted to let off some steam. Vega said he had just the thing to take my mind off stuff. And did that thing come in a bottle? Yes. This empty bottle? It's... Empty. Oh, boy. I don't recall receiving an invitation to your party, Williams. I prefer embarrassing myself in private, sir. Mission accomplished, Lieutenant. No one likes sarcasm, Commander. I do. I hate you. I hate you... Sir. As you were, Williams. Mmm. Cold floor. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. Hey, Shepard. I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when you can. 
What's going on with the Crucible? That project is crazy. Freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down, piecing it together. It's something to see. We'll get this Crucible build, Shepard. And then, we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, sure, I feel it. And I'm counting on you and everyone there. Get it done. Believe it. It was interesting to meet Bryn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... We're having a baby, Shepard. Wow. Congratulations. Wasn't exactly planned, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's, uh... <laughs> One more thing to fight for. You got that right. Bryn wants to name it after you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Shepard. That's... nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna talk her out of it. No offense. <laughs> None taken. Good. So what's going on with you? You still like what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> but no. So, you working on the Crucible? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Hackett keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Faler is safe, and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But... Following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such... small discrepancies. Is that how you see it, too? You yourself killed a Reaper on the Citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such bravery. Will Falaire be all right in the Monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was... good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. 
And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess, go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire, soon enough. Hey, Shepard. I have to admit, the place feels safer with you here. Everyone's walking around in a daze. Or in my case, limping. And I wonder if we'll ever be the same. These are dark days for all of us. How does the Citadel fit into the war now? Uh, the war finally found us. This is so far beyond our imagination, and we have been trained to expect the unexpected. Since the coup attempt, folks are shutting down and shutting in. I hear a lot of praying. And crying. They're saying this is the war to end all wars. Well, I haven't seen anything to say they aren't right. No time for rest. Good luck, Bailey. Yeah. You too, Shepard. I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? <sighs> when I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how. But you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No. They can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda. This thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. This is a nice spot, Ash. Yeah. All the shuttles that being around remind me of when my dad would get ready to ship out. My mom would bundle us all up, buy us ice cream, and cart us out to the shipyard to watch his transport depart. I still have to resist waving every time a big Alliance ship flies by. You miss him? I do. He would have liked you. You think so? Career military man? Yeah. Yeah, he would have invited you over, cooked you something on the grill, and talked your ear off. Ever think about what life would have been like outside the Alliance? Oh, sure. 
tried to rebel against the whole military family thing when I was growing up. When my dad and I got into it, I threatened to run away with the next guy that came along. Really? He'd laugh and say, good, I'll pack your damn bags myself. That tended to deflate me pretty quick. He knew I'd never stray far from the family. They're everything to me. It's easy to forget what we fight for. Yeah, moments like that. This was a good idea. Nice to get away from the war for a while. I do feel a little guilty, though. Sure. But sometimes you have to step away or risk going crazy. Too late. No argument here. You're a crappy commander. You're a crappy commander... Sir. Copy that. It seems the galaxy can't keep us apart. The Blue Sun's blood pack and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? How's the rebuilding going on Omega? People understand the first order of business is shoring up defenses. No one wants another invasion. So they're enduring valiantly, not that they have a choice. Once again, I am Omega. We'll talk later. I'm sure. You just introduced me as your personal assistance mech. Yeah, well, it was the only way to get you inside. But you know I am not one. Why deceive others? You don't really want to introduce yourself as an AI with Reaper-based code. They would lynch you. That would be an inefficient way to render me non-functional. Your turn. Counselor Tabos. Hot. But points off for attitude. Shaira, the consort. Uh, hot, I guess? Can we stop this? You're creeping me out. Dalatras Linron. Ew. Are you okay? I've just been standing here, holding this for I don't know how long. He'll always be a part of me. Your past is yours. No one can take that away. I love you, but I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. Goodbye, Robert. I'm glad you came. Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. One sec, Commander, I'm losing your signal. Commander Shepard, Captain Kaharo Balak, Batarian External Forces. I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race, a beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony, and I can't save my people. But I can end you. Balak, you sent that asteroid toward Terra Nova to help your people. But what does killing me accomplish? Vengeance. The Bahawk system. They would have died anyway when the Reapers showed up. You know that. I'm uniting the Krogan and the Turians. We're the best hope for this galaxy. If you care about your people... Ah! Our ships are yours. Shepard, are you alright? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. But we're all making some sacrifices today. Let him go. Spectre Authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. Shepard? So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop? I was thinking a date. 
Excuse me. I saw you checking out my friend here. I thought you two should meet. Hello? Right. So, um... Hmm. Hello? And... Hmm. Tell her she looks nice. You seem like a nice person. Maybe a little quiet, introspective, but... Decent. Overall. Oh. Thank you. I think. Try small talk. Come here often. I imagine anyone who does is probably an alcoholic. Actually, I do. I work at the Turian Embassy. I'm here to unwind. Yeah. Well, listen. I've got this... thing I forgot I had to do, and... I should probably just go do it. Sorry. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus, and I'd love to have a drink with you. use of the Bay Lucian Gambit. Is this space chess? It's called Cape Eshiakshi, Blade of the Night Winds. The Asari have played it since we were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. To Caesar. Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. That was before you helped manage intel for a galactic war. You're right. I've gotten a lot better since I came to the Normandy. Which is a frigate, by the way. So try not to lose it. Roger that. Neural feedback. It disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maidens tactics and strategy through this game. So, your job is playing games? Mentoring students in strategic and tactical simulations, yes. Specialist trainer here personally saved Grissom Academy. More than a dozen students owe her their lives. I'm sure she's a wonderful serviceman, but she just lost her last frigate. Traded her last frigate, actually, for your homeworld. <laughs> Thanks, Commander. And I apologize again for missing lunch. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. The sinking laser needs a line of sight. What's the fastest route? The upper entrance. Target the base before the Geth can organize resistance. What about you? We will deactivate defense systems and acquire an escape vehicle. You can do that? This unit still carries remnants of... 
the old machine upgrade code. We can break any Geth security. You are concerned. You know your limits. I trust you. I'm more concerned you didn't tell me about the upgrades. You were tolerant of our recovery of Geth intelligences from the server, but this matter is different. Personal. You were ashamed. Shame is an emotional or cognitive response to societal judgment. It should not apply here. I'm on your side here, Legion. I want to help your people. We did not intend to cause offense. How'd we get here? The Geth are better than this. No. Based on empirical evidence, they are not. Yeah. Proceed to the upper entrance. We will exit here and procure an escape vehicle. Got it. Legion! Good luck. Acknowledged. I can't believe it. I don't think it's really sunk in yet. The home world. My world. Look at the sky. And the rock formations? I used to write poems about them. When we're done, maybe you'll write a new one. This is Ranok, the world of our ancestors. Our bodies carried the seeds that spread the desert grass. You've heard me say, Kilasalai. The best translation I can come up with is, by the home world I hope to see someday. Looks like you're seeing it today. The living room window will be right here. Something I should know? I just claimed the land. I know it doesn't mean much. But when this is over, I'll have a home. The Quarian spent centuries as nomads. You think you can go back to living in one place? We have gotten used to carrying our homes around with us. to start. The Normandy's main battery requires several hours to penetrate that blast shield. We don't have that kind of time. We have located an override atop the gas fortifications. It can retract the blast shield. Normandy's weapon systems are ready to sink to your target. I recommend you withdraw to a safe distance. Chamber. Looks like a weak point when it's priming. Damn it! The Charing Towers have us targeting manually. We can't make a precision shot. 
We may escape before it recovers. No. Pull over. If we run away, the Geth stand are Reaper control and the Quarians are dead. This ends now. Edie, patch the Quarians to the Normandy's weapon system. I want the targeting laser synced up to the whole damn fleet. Understood. Do you need assistance? Just stay down, Legion. I'll take it from here. Shepard Commander, good luck. Acknowledged. Shepard to fleet. I'll paint the weak spot. Link up with the Normandy and be ready to fire. You know who I am? Harbinger speaks of you. You resist, but you will fail. The cycle must continue. What are you talking about? We stopped Sovereign and the Geth. We stopped Harbinger and the Collectors. We've earned a straight answer. It is not a thing you can comprehend. We might surprise you. Killing everyone in the galaxy to save us? The cycle must continue. There is no alternative. Organics and synthetics don't have to destroy each other. The battle for Rannoch disproves your assertion. Finish your war. We will be waiting. We did it. We killed a Reaper. Kila. We can confirm that the Geth are no longer being directed by the old machines. We are free. You did it, Shepard. The Geth fleet has stopped firing. They're completely vulnerable. Shepard Commander, the Geth only acted in defense after the creators attacked. Do we deserve death? What are you suggesting? Our upgrades. With the old machine dead, we could upload them to all Geth without sacrificing their independence. You want to upload the Reaper code? That would make the Geth as smart as when the Reaper was controlling them. Yes, but with free will, each Geth unit would be a true intelligence. We would be alive, and we could help you. Our fleet is already attacking. Uploading the code would destroy us. Shepard, you can't choose the Geth over my people. Do you remember the question that caused the creators to attack us, Talizora? Does this unit have a soul? Upload the code to the Geth. Tally, call off the fleet if you can. Uploading. 10%. This is Admiral Talizora. All units, break off your attack. Belay that order. Continue the attack. 20%. I beg you, do not do this, please. 
we regret the deaths of the creators. But we see no alternative. 40%. No. Nobody else dies today. Legion, keep going. Shepard? All ships, this is Commander Shepard. The Reaper is dead. Stand down. This is Admiral Talizora. Shepard speaks with my authority. And mine as well. Negative. We can win this war now. Keep firing. 60%. The Geth are about to return to full strength. If you keep attacking, they'll wipe you out. Your entire history is you trying to kill the Geth. You forced them to rebel. You forced them to ally with the Reapers. 80%. The Geth don't want to fight you. If you can believe that for just one minute, this war will be over. You have a choice. Please. Kill us alive. Error. Copying code is insufficient. Direct personality dissemination required. Shepard Commander, I must go to them. I'm... I'm sorry. It's the only way. Legion, the answer to your question was yes. I know, Tally. But thank you. Kill us alive. Admiral Run, I heard your ship made a crash landing. Glad you got out in one piece. I was listening over the radio. If Han Girl hadn't stopped... He did. We have taken heavy losses. I don't know if we can. Where are we supposed to go? You are welcome to return to Rannoch, Admiral Run, with us. Legion? No, I'm sorry, Commander. Legion sacrificed itself to give us all intelligence. It will be honored. Good. And we will honor Legion's promise. The Geth fleet will help you retake Earth, and our engineers will assist in building the Crucible. As will ours, of course. Admiral, had you considered possible settlement sites? We... The southern continent had excellent farmland. As I recall. Are you... gonna be okay? I believe so, Commander. Thank you. Shopping for another house? Beachfront property. Claim it fast. It's a buyer's market. <sighs> You okay? I know working with the Geth will be difficult. I'm not staying. I'm coming with you. I wasn't going to ask. I think you've earned a few favors with the fleet. I'm asking them to launch an assault on the Reapers. Figure that makes us even. If the Reapers were going to stay on Earth, sure. But sooner or later, they'll come to Rannoch. We did just kill one of them. So I'm coming with you to stop them. If you think I can help. You sure about this? Yeah. I look at all this. This picture of hope and peace. And all I see is everyone I've lost. My team on Haystrom. My father. Even Legion. I'm mourning a Geth. How crazy is that? It's not crazy at all. It is beautiful, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It'll be years before we can live without our suits completely. But right now...
Right now, I have this. Commander Shepard, I understand you've helped resolve the situation with the Geth. Yes, Counselor. Two, in fact. I've read the reports. You ended a war three centuries in the making. I had a lot of help. We have isolated pockets of remaining Geth. As best we can tell, they are Geth bodies loaded with Reaper code. But they are just a tiny fragment of the full Geth fleet. You've done the impossible, Commander. And I may be able to provide help of my own. I've received information from my government. It's too sensitive to discuss over an unsecured channel. What if I come to the Citadel? Yes, that would be best, Commander. I'll be waiting for you in Counselor Udina's office. Commander, something on your mind? What's our state of readiness, Admiral? We're getting there. And with the Reapers pressing their advantage across all fronts, we don't have a lot of time to catch up. What about the extra help we've picked up along the way? Bringing in both the Quarians and the Geth has helped us immeasurably. The Quarian fleet is providing evac and fire support, while the Geth attack Reaper supply lines. Nothing more, sir. Hack it out. Trainer, can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to talk to me. She's on her way, Commander. I'm sure you've got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's see how you do with the top 10. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth, they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies, and no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? What you have to realize is that despite their reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. The Quarians attacked them. The Geth fought back in self-defense just like any organic would. Now that we've freed the Geth from Reaper control, they'll want payback for their enslavement. But you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? The Geth are extremely intelligent, and they put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not going to turn again. I bet my life on it. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed... So did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You gonna go file your story now? Well, if you don't mind. Go tell the galaxy what we've done. They could use some good news. Aye aye, Commander. Can't be. No. I guess that's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry, uh, from Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I, I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are helping, setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jumpstarting our immune systems. That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore? It doesn't seem possible, but yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them, the suits have become part of our society, but a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Rannoch, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you? No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? 
I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! Perfect timing, perfect timing. You can play yourself. Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. All right, places everyone. Quickly, quickly! Cue the backdrop. Roll cameras! And... action! Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom which we all urgently face draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. <laughs> yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen Roast. Ah! You die now! Not yet! That line comes later! The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions! I believe I have been misinformed about the purpose of this feat. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Salarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Salarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean no like you! Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed audio. Uh, actually that was me. Sovereign? Saren? You might have heard of them? Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel, putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Rothian, no like you! This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. I've been in the club for three years now. Correct. But you are not an Ultra Spectre Elite 4000 Deluxe. This one is a 7,000. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. The cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Look! It's Sovereign's half-brother sluggard! And he's looking for some payback. Cue the stunt double! You're lying. Oh, you die now! Oh no, the Vorcha Counselor is indoctrinated. This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Ah, uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This one insists. This one doesn't care. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? Strike the set. Telecasting will need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. Urgently. Human, I must speak to you on behalf of my people. What is it? Holding sorrow. Takuna. My home world, the Reapers have come. Holding sorrow, our warriors are under siege, but your forces can rescue them. Urgently, please. All the other races have turned us aside. How do your people fight? 
proudly. With BI assisted infantry, our soldiers carry heavy weapons into battle mounted on their backs. Mixed pride and shame, our enemies have called us living tanks, as well as names less flattering. I'll take the Normandy as soon as we have time. Relief. Thank you, Commander. Small hope. Perhaps we can evacuate some of our civilians when your forces arrive. Anxiously, I will remain here for news. Please hurry. Dakuna burns. I want all remaining files secured and marked for Tentron clearance only. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. Did you find something? The Council has ordered a full review into Donald Udina's activities. We're still piecing together his coup attempt. But that isn't why I asked you here. The situation is growing urgent for my people. We're aware your Crucible is still missing a key component. The Catalyst? Do you know something? Not exactly, but there is a... Artifact on our homeworld, Thessia, known only to highest levels of my government. What is it? With any luck, it's a means to help you locate the catalyst. The artifact is kept in a temple located at these coordinates. I've ordered a scientific team to meet you there. If this artifact is so important, why keep it hidden? Every species in the Citadel has its secrets, Commander. But this one, in the wrong hands, would upset the balance of galactic power. The Reapers are doing that right now. Which is why I'm bringing this to you. I appreciate the help. It's you who will be helping us. The Matriarchs are growing desperate. For the first time in our history, Thessia is vulnerable. For all our intellect, we're outmatched by Reaper firepower. I'll do what I can. Whether you know it or not, you've become the sole ray of hope in a very dark night. Goddess be with you. He is under heavy Reaper attack. There's activity across most of the planet. What about the temple? Can you raise the scientists? Negative. All channels are scrambled across the spectrum. The mission's looking really dicey. This is too important. It's now or never. Shepard, that's my home down there. I have to go. Then get to the shuttle and let's do this. Liara, do you have anything more on this artifact? These coordinates the Counselor gave you are for the Temple of Athame. My mother took me there once. It's several thousand years old. And for some reason, it has classified government funding. Sounds like we're on the right trail. What if we're too late? My people are dying down there. Your empathy is a weakness. You must numb yourself to loss. Benezia took you to this temple? I was just a child. I thought it was a history lesson, but now... Maybe there was more to it. What do you mean? I went digging through her old files. She had heavily encrypted records on this place, some dating back centuries. I still can't crack most of them. Whatever's going on, it's well hidden. I've studied your old mission reports. Your mother was indoctrinated. Yes, we had to kill her. Yet it did not stop you from fighting. As I said, steal yourself. Many more lives will be lost. We can't ignore that people are dying. The Reapers may not have mercy, but we do. It is their indifference that gives them power. Then let's show them there's another way. be happening my home there's no time to mourn we're exposed up here commander we heard <laughs> the barrier's been breached i 
want that gunship prepped and in the air. Plug that hole! We're on it! Someone get me a location on our snipers! Yes, ma'am! Commander, I'm Lieutenant Curran. We've been told to expect you. My orders are to hold this grid at all costs. Shore up the barrier! But our perimeter's collapsing, and I'm getting my people out of here. This is important. We need your help. Well, unless you can give me a good reason to stay, we're not dying for a field of rubble. What exactly were you told about? Nothing but your name. Mission details were classified, which just means we'll die without knowing why. I know what that's like, but you have to trust the chain of command. We're not even sure the chain still exists. So what are we doing here? We're after a relic inside the temple. It's important. That's what this is all about? One of our outposts has been trying to reach the scientists over there, but we lost contact. Get that gunship moving! Now! I'm sorry, Commander. If your relic has lasted this long, it can wait a little longer. I've lost enough people today. I'm pulling the rest of them out. No! I sense you the lineage of a leader. A warrior skill and cunning. They are strong in your genes. But you've grown tired of war. You're exhausted by defeat, and now you worry you don't have the courage left to go on. By the goddess, are you... Find your resolve. This war can end if you do. We're building a Prothean superweapon. It'll win this war. I believe it. This is Lieutenant Curran. Hold your positions. I want a path carved to the temple. Outpost Tychus, we've got people coming your way. Let's make sure the galaxy knows the war was won on Thessia! Make it count. I was here years ago. To see the city burning like this is... On that building! We've got fire to hold! No! Damn them! Keep your focus, Leo! Those things are slaughtering my people! And avenge their loss. I still can't face those things. My own people. When we fought the Reapers, they turned our own children against us. I can't imagine that. They assumed we would hesitate to kill them. Did you? What answer would you prefer? None. Let's stop talking about this. Above us! My people are still endeavors. They change their minds when the Reapers arrive. This nightmare never ends. The hell it won't. We get to this artifact and we can all wake up. 50,000 years later. Trying to reach outpost Tychus. You're looking at it. What about the rest of your squad? They're all dead. We tried punching through to the scientists, but I'm all that's left. What about reinforcements? We had gunships flying support, but things got too hot with that Reaper. They can't chance it. I know it's rough, but I don't see another way in without their help. Have I told you how much I hate this war? Talon Swarm, this is outpost Tychus. Is there anybody left on this frequency? We are in need of immediate air support. Commander Shepard is here. Copy, this is Talon 1. I'm on the way. Talon 5 inbound. Ground targets confirmed. Weapons are hot. Light them up. Talon 1, watch the jamming. Target acquired. I'm hit. The stabilizer blew out.
I'll cover you from here. Let me take a look. It's military grade encryption. I think I can override it. Do religion and military always mix among Asari? No, this is unusual. Especially since few still follow the Athame doctrine. Hello? Is anyone there? Something is wrong. Your scientist should be here. Take a look around. Maybe one of these artifacts is what we're looking for. Could this be the artifact? I don't think so. It's the goddess of Thames sword. Myths say she wielded it against the jealous gods who threatened our ancestors. They were a race called the Ora Voras. Thessia had vast resources. We protected you from them. You protected? But then, a fame. There is more to your history than you know, Asari. What's this? The goddess of Thames' shield. Legends say she used it to protect Thessia when the heavens grew angry. Our ancestors were probably misinterpreting a meteor shower. It was an asteroid strike. We deflected it. Are you actually suggesting that the Protheans intervened in our past? It's more than a suggestion. I find it strange your scientists would abandon their own planet. They wouldn't. What about this one? A page from one of our earliest religious texts, the Athame Codex. I doubt this is it. It describes Lucin, Athame's guide who taught our ancestors about the stars. Your species was deemed to have potential. Pity you didn't live up to it. Another page from the Codex. Not very useful. It talks about Athame's guide granting us the gift of biotics as a reward for worshipping her. That gift involved years of genetic research. I... Uh, this is almost too much to take. For something as important as this artifact, there should have been fail-safes. What do you know about this? A fragment from the Codex. It's not what we need. It describes how Athame's guide, Janiri, gave my people seeds. He taught them the season so they could grow crops. We didn't want you to starve. Doesn't look useful. That's Janiri, Athame's guide who brought enlightenment to Thessia long ago. And you don't see the resemblance? He was no servant of an imaginary goddess. He was Prothean. Could this be the artifact? I don't think so. That's a sculpture of Lucin, one of Athame's servants who walked among my ancestors, bestowing knowledge. He was no servant of an imaginary goddess. He was Prothean. What are we looking at here? A primitive rendition of the goddess Athame. She's speaking to her ancient Asari followers. I don't think this is the artifact. Another one of your myths that somehow looks Prothean. What you're implying... It's staggering. We were here in the beginning, watching you grow. Athame was us. It's the goddess Athame again. You can still believe that, but it won't change the truth. Their throats. What happened to them? They've been slit. The Reapers didn't do this. We're going to have to figure this out on our own. Who's that supposed to be? It's a Thame. Her image became more like ours over time. You mean your ancestors tried to hide the truth? I'm still not willing to believe any of that's real. Then why does a thing speak Prothean? What do you mean? There is something here. I can sense it. In this temple? I admit it is strange this place has been so well preserved. Though a thing does have great historical significance, we once believed our gods were separate from the world, looking down on us. There's a Prothean beacon here. What? You're sure? It's not something you forget. But why hide it? The answer is obvious. Power and influence. Your people are hoarding the knowledge of my race for their own gain. That can't be. I can't believe my people would keep this a secret. A beacon like this could explain why Asari are so advanced. This temple is thousands of years old. Time enough to make serious progress. That doesn't make it true. You can't keep denying reality, Asari. Even a small amount of data would give your species an edge. Or are you insulted that your government didn't involve you? The 
Mars ruins are where humanity got Mass Effect technology. And we learned of it from the ruins of the Inusanum, the race that came before us. It was our secret for centuries. Well, if it is true, the Asari should have shared this knowledge. We might not have been in this mess if they had. You don't know that, Shepard. We don't know what's going on here. I know we don't have much time to find out. The few records I can access talk about tapping into Prothean data streams, reconstructing matrices, none of which I see here. I do. The activation process has begun. By the goddess. Literally. Look around. There must be more of these connections. Incredible. The beacon seems to think you're Prothean, Shepard. It must be the cipher you got back on Pharos years ago. Or it could be the Prothean standing next to you. The activation is complete. We can access the beacon now. We need to hurry. This place isn't going to... ...last very long. Obtaining chronological marker. Hold. Time scale established. Post-Prothean cycle confirmed. One of our computers. Reaper presence detected. This galactic cycle has already reached its extinction terminus. Systems shutting down. Hold on! We need answers. To what question? The catalyst. We need to know what it is to finish the crucible. A memory of one of my people. I am called Vendetta, an advanced virtual construct of Patrick Van, overseer of the project you refer to as Crucible. He died fighting the Reapers in the Battle of Tranvia 9. Your remaining time is also at an end. We're all Protheans so grim. What happened to the Crucible in your time? Why didn't the Protheans deploy it? We were sabotaged from within. A splinter group argued we should dominate the Reapers rather than destroy them. It fractured our order of battle. Later, we discovered the Separatists were indoctrinated. I always suspected as much. And now we're facing the same problem. Our studies of past ages led us to believe that time is cyclical. Many patterns repeat. Like the Reaper attacks. And beyond. The same peaks of evolution, the same valleys of dissolution. The same conflicts are expressed in every cycle, but in a different manner. The repetition is too prevalent to be merely chance. We assume the Reapers were responsible for the pattern. Perhaps. Though I believe the Reapers are only servants of the pattern. They are not its master. So who is the master? Unknown. Its presence is inferred rather than observed. The only certainty is its intention. Galactic annihilation. You now stand at that precipice. There's still hope for this cycle. We need to know what the catalyst is. Trillions of lives are at risk. Trillions of lives are always at risk. But if the Reapers have arrived to end your cycle, this discussion is too late. We can break the cycle. We found your plans for the Crucible. We're building it right now. The Crucible is not a Prothean design. It is the work of countless galactic cycles stretching back millions of years. Each cycle adds to it. Each improves upon it. Thus far, none have successfully defeated the Reapers with it. Then we'll be the first. Tell us what the catalyst is. Listen to the human. He can be trusted. I detect you are one of us. You are Prothean. The last. I am the final hope to avenge our people. Your mission was known to me. Do you believe this present cycle can deliver retribution? They have earned the right to try. Tell us what we need to know. Very well. If you have followed the plans for the Crucible, I will interface with your systems and assist with the Catalyst too. Indoctrinated presence detected. Activating security protocol. You. You killed the scientists. What do you want? Your attention. Someone would like to talk with you. Shepard. How did you find this place? 
The archives. Or did your shadow broker miss that one? Show yourself. I promise I won't miss. Stick to your talents, Dr. Dasani. You've helped uncover the key to subjugating the Reapers. Or destroying them. Damn it, Shepard! Destroying the Reapers gains us nothing. How about peace? They're just trying to control us. Think about it. If they wanted all organic life destroyed, they could do it. There would be nothing left. What the hell are you talking about? I know them, Shepard. I know how they think. I think you've gotten a little too close to the enemy. No. I'm saying they've got it right. Why kill when you can control? You've been spending too much time with the enemy. They're dragging you over to their side. Their way of thinking. No, I just see things differently. If you truly care about humanity, you'll stop fighting me. You'll join me. Don't ever question my intentions. I've sacrificed more for humanity than you'll ever know. And don't assume you know me. My methods for dealing with the Reapers are simply more refined than yours. You've forgotten everything you stood for. Cerberus was supposed to be humanity's sword, not a dagger in our back. Poetic, but as usual, you miss the point. The world is more gray than you care to admit. With the Prothean data in this beacon, I can end this conflict, once and for all. You're either with me or against me. There's nothing gray about that. No, I suppose there isn't. Leng, the commander has something I need. Please relieve him of it. And then bring me the data. Understood. There's only one way this happens. Cerberus thanks you for all your hard work. This is Shepard. Give us your location. I repeat, is anyone on this frequency? We read you. Give me your location. The lieutenant's down. The whole zone is collapsing. What happened to Shepard? Did they make it to the temple? I saw them. Wait. I've got to read what they're about. Please, is anybody there? Wait. Oh, God.
Commander. Commander? Counselor. The mission. We've lost our contact with the Earth. It's gone dark. How soon will the Crucible be ready to deploy? Counselor. I wish the news was better. We didn't get the information. What happened? Cerberus was there. We were... We were defeated. We don't know how to finish the Crucible. I... I don't know what to say. What was the situation on Thessia? Deteriorating fast. The Reapers are there in strength. Then you'll excuse me. There are... Preparations to make. Continuity of civilization to consider. I never thought this day would come. None of us did. I'm... Sorry. Asari forces are in full retreat. It is no longer safe for us to remain in this system. Get us out of here. Shepard. I... Nobody could have predicted Cerberus would reach Thessia before us. It's my job to be prepared, no matter what. And now Thessia's lost, as is the data on the Catalyst. I'm sick of Cerberus beating us to the punch. Let's kick them in the balls first for a change. I'm with James. Anyone know where they're hiding? Anyone? Um... Well, there is something. Let's hear it, trainer. I was able to track Kai Leng's shuttle through the relay and extrapolate his destination. But the signal disappeared in the Yera system. Naturally. It's not just gone, though. The signal is being actively blocked. How? I'm not sure. But something is interfering with all signal activity in that region of space. Commander, the Yara system is home to Sanctuary and little else. Sanctuary is a supposed safe haven for war refugees. You think it's worth checking out, trainer? Yes, sir. I do. If Specialist Trainer hadn't examined the data so astutely, the interference would have been undetectable. Nice work, Trainer. You've given us a shot. Now let's make sure we don't waste it. I was stationed on Horizon in the Yera system. You were the only Cerberus presence while I was there. It's a slim lead. Let's hope it's the right one. I don't care how slim the leads are at this point. We've come too far to let Cerberus stop us. I want that Prothean data. I want the Catalyst. No excuses. Dismissed. Shepard, I heard about Thessia. We were so close, Anderson. So damn close to ending this war. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? I knew going in there wouldn't be a minute of this war that was easy. But watching Thessia fall, and knowing it was my responsibility. Shepard, you know how many times I got my ass handed to me over the years? Surviving the first contact war back in the day was a goddamn miracle. They said I was a hero. I just felt lucky to get out alive. So maybe Kai Lang did beat you. What of it? It could cost us the war. These guys in the Resistance, they know it's a losing proposition. They know the chances of seeing tomorrow are slim to none. But we all signed up anyway. Hell, I'm sitting in London right now staring at rubble. I was born here. And it's looking like I might die here too. So I say point us at the Reapers and we'll take our chances. You'll make it, Anderson. And when this is all over, you can show me London. <laughs> it might need a new coat of paint first. This will be over soon. It better. Shake this off, Shepard. I will. Anderson out. Commander Cerberus has taken one of our secret communication facilities. All campaigns in this theater depend on the information that dish array supplies. What do we know? 
We're getting intel from a tech who survived the attack. Grace Sato. She's hiding in a security bunker off-site. A civilian? Yes, patching her through. Miss Sato, what's happening down there? I'm staying hidden, but I'm the only one left. They're trying to hack into our systems to access Alliance operations protocols. I'm tracking their activity, but they're bound to find me sooner or later. Hang in there. We'll be there soon. Yes. Yes, Commander. It's not ideal, but she's the only one with any traction on this. The information stored in that network is critical, Commander. If it gets into enemy hands, we'll lose a lot of good people. I'll take care of it, Admiral. See that you do. Hack it out. Come in. Miss Adam, are you there? The human is too scared to answer. We need the final coordinates. Grace, listen to me. Can't talk. They're right outside. I know you're scared. This is more than you signed up for, but I won't let you down. I promise. Okay, Commander. Updating your nav point with the last location now. But if you get to me in time... Just hurry, please. Commander, I think I can make a run and get her. Do it. Our communication station is secure. Operations in this theater are safe again. No small task to keep it that way. How is Miss Sato doing? She has to be transferred to a nearby Alliance station. She wants to help however she can. Good. We need all the help we can get. Hack it out. Shepard, you made it! Come have a drink with me. You're looking happy? You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow, we might all be dead. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. I wouldn't have thought a club would be to your tastes. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful dancing. There's an energy here. There's light. And some of the eye candy in the crowd isn't too shabby either. The eye candy on the stage is fine by me. Good. I sure don't need you as competition. Here. To you, Steve. And to you, Shepard. A good friend when I needed one most. Thank you. For everything. Of course. We can have ships at the colony in 36 hours. Do you need medical support? No, evacuating the colony is more than enough. Thank you, Ambassador. Ambassador? I'm coordinating actions for the fleet while we're here. Evacuating colonies, bolstering Turian defense lines. Huh. I think it was right here. Three years ago to the day. What? This was where Saren's assassins fired at me. I'd just gotten to the Citadel. I didn't think I needed my barriers up. My mistake. Saren had assassins after you? Right. I disabled the Geth and found that recording that proved he was working with the Reapers. I went to Ilium and tried to inform the authorities, but Saren's mercenaries attacked me. I barely escaped. I stowed away on a Turian freighter and came out here. I thought I was safe. You never told me about this. How bad was it? Got me in the arm. I used polonium rounds. I was running a fever in minutes. It was the first time I'd been really hurt on my pilgrimage. I ran to the council embassy, asked for protection, offered the data on Saren. The Turian clerk called me Soot Rat. He threatened to have me tossed off the station if I didn't leave. I wish that clerk could see you now. He just did. That was him back there. I don't think he remembers me. And you're assisting him in spite of that. This war is too big for old grudges. You showed me that. We're at peace with the Geth. I can't waste my time on a Turian who made me angry. Besides, it all worked out. I made it to the wards. You found me. Happy ending. And now the Turians will get the aid they desperately need. I nearly reminded him who I was. Made him apologize, rubbed his nose in it. 
Maybe he and I both needed to grow up a little. The difference is that you helped when it counted. Thanks, Shepard. So did you. Commander. Shepard. I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. Why is that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover, intel to gather, a commander to save. <laughs> you couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> could you? Is there something special about this song? <sighs> On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. I've always loved that song. Shepard, I... What are you doing? Making sure you don't run off to something more important. I can't imagine what that would be. We should do this more often. Yes, well, maybe after. Every day after. Shepard. Shepard. I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping? I, I guess we could. Did you have the place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Jeff has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and, quote, live it up like a girly girl. <laughs> you don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. We'll get you your own funds sometime. But today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. Here, the 2187 Blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour, making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five-year warranty? Replacement parts? No, wait! I fail to see what is wrong. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. You want to rent one. I see. Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Um, are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you... valuing me? It's the thought that counts. And you had a good one. I have heard that expression. 
That's why I recorded a resonance map of my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. If you read my extensive log files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy centers, you can visualize the thought precisely. That's a long way for a joke, Edie. Did I have you for a few seconds there? Not even close. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. Hey, loco. I see you got things cleaned up. Eventually. Yeah, sorry about that. <whistles> nice view. But this place, it's just so... not what I'm used to. Which is? I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. Yeah, I get that. It's tough being away from home. Yeah. How do you make it work? I wouldn't know how to survive otherwise. I'm a soldier, but I'm still human. I hear that. So did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? Oh, shit, right. I wanted to show you. What do you think? Looks good. You've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? Exactly. And I heard what you said before. And I'm in. Cien por ciento. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. Hasta la vista, Shepard. We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Kreos. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms and others as a father devoted to his son. Though his life took him to very dark places, Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. Even when he was terminally ill, he ran through worn torn streets to reach me because he knew I needed help. You all know the results of that day. An assassin, a professional criminal, gave his life for his galaxy. And now he can rest. Would anyone else like to speak? What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane's last stand was important. But let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. Thane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions, but what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Kolyat, do you, uh... When 
I was little. I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. He said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. I don't know if I'll be as philosophical about it. It's still kind of raw. I understand. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. But what? He is feeling grateful, and I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel syndrome, it would be them. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire, I'm there. I appreciate the offer, but Counselor Valorant has recently orated about funding science during wartime. My odds are good. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. Shepard, I suppose I should thank you for my freedom. Leaving the Normandy was the right decision. It was saddening to see our crew go their separate ways. But it is better than answering questions in an Alliance interrogation room. I hope this message finds you well. As for me, I have moved into an apartment on the Citadel not far from Kolyad. I think the first attack I had frightened him. I will spare you the details. It seemed very dramatic at the time. But in comparison to the Omega Relay, it was a child's game. In any case, good luck getting the Alliance to listen to you. Let's keep in touch. Shepard, if you sent a message back, I didn't get it. I suppose communications from someone of my reputation would be restricted. The irony is, I am a danger to no one these days. I am even paying taxes on my investments. I can't expect Kolyat to do so if I don't. He is doing better. He has no significant other, and he is temperamental. But he is employed and staying out of crime. I can tell he is serious about changing. It has cost him more than a few friends. Send something back if you can, Shepard. I can only learn so much from news reports about you. I have tried a false identity to try to get this message through to you. We'll see if it works. I have good news and bad. The good news is that Kolyat and I took a few days to visit Earth. Light the shade of her eyes. Shrill sound of chirping stops. I scan the ground. See two tiny bodies locked by claws. Excuse me. As I was saying, we saw a beautiful sunset in New Mexico and a scorpion eating a cricket. I wish you could have joined us. The bad news is, I had... I fainted and struck my head. Kolyat has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital, but it's where the doctors are. And Kolyat. I love him. 
That means I must trust him. Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later. What do we know? Edie? The Sanctuary facility was devoted to aiding refugees from Reaper-controlled systems. The facility went offline recently, and no communications have come or gone since. It is unclear why Kai Lang or Cerberus would be interested in Sanctuary. If there's a clue to Cerberus here, we find it. Sir, I'm picking up a signal from the facility. It's weak. I I'll try to boost it. Oriana? That's Miranda's sister. If she's here, Miranda can't be far away. That's our link to Cerberus. Approaching the LZ. Seeing some damage command, but no activity. Cerberus does not get the jump on us this time. Stay sharp, people. came from that tower. Then that's where we're headed. Footage from security cameras. A place to organize the new arrivals. Come on, let's keep looking. New arrivals within the factory. I figure in another week, I can finish off the remaining hours on my contract and move from staff housing into sanctuary itself. Oh, I feel a little guilty that I'm getting an upgrade from standard accommodations, but that's the deal. The number of refugees has doubled in the last two weeks. I heard that people are just abandoning shuttles outside the main gate. They just don't have anywhere to go. We'll need to start setting up temporary shelters out there until they can be processed. Accident report 2139. Analyst communication device nearly made it past pre-screening. Scanner software has been adjusted. There's no way to penetrate the system, but we can't chance a signal leaving the planet. We've got a fragment of something here. I can't call right now, but I'll send this as soon as I can. My little girl got sick, that's why I left. I love you, but I have to take care of her. The clinics were closing their doors to refugees. I couldn't borrow credits from you. I don't know where I learned about Sanctuary. Around, I guess? Seemed perfect. Somewhere to hide, you know? Just till she got better. I can see the place out the window. It's huge. They already have people waiting for us. Got another one. We land in a few minutes. You should see this place, Dad. It's amazing. Look, I'll record a bunch of stuff and send it to you. They warned us about no comms until we're through processing. What I tell you, top-notch security. Can't wait till you get here. This is Miranda Lawson. If you've managed to get this far, you must be desperate or stupid. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run by my father, Henry Lawson. Turn back now. There is no help to be found here. All communication is being blocked from the central tower. Sanctuary is a lie. Stay away. Okay. So, we've got Cerberus, Reapers, and Miranda's crazy father. Any ideas how this all fits? A security panel. Shutting it down. Strange. An unusual amount of technology for such a facility. We have a back door into the facility. Let's move. Power switch. There. Yes. This process is known to me. They do not kill what can be useful. I'm sorry, Commander. I think I understand. They're being turned into husks.
doesn't make sense. There must be more to it. The elusive man would not make a move without an assured benefit. Reaper forces have made a mess of the facility. I'm shutting down the power to the processing plant to lock them down. I should keep them out of the entrance as well. She won't know that Kailang is here. Miranda Lawson has arrived sooner than expected. You want me to deal with her? Only if she gets in your way. Stay focused on the research data. Find it and get out. Yes, sir. Damn it! Let's move! I spent the last week making small adjustments to increase processing efficiency. There is no shortage of subjects. Indeed, I'm told there's a long line outside the main gate. The deception is an unfortunate necessity. Time is very short. We've confirmed the results of Cerberus experiments involving the husk creatures. A crude but necessary first step in decoding how the Reapers communicate. The key is how the Reaper signal interacts with the nanites implanted within the subject's body. It's early yet, but we are making progress. Dr. Nuri's legacy work with subject Paul Grayson provided a key element to our work here. Using the addictive drug Red Sand to break down the will was inspired, but proved unreliable for general application. We've proven that adrenaline and its cross-species equivalents is most effective and efficient. The pursuit of efficiency has revealed an important fact. The Reaper's use of dragon's teeth to create husks is ingenious. The Reaper nanites attach themselves to the adrenaline released and quickly move through the body to speed conversion to the final husk state. Terminal's damaged. Hang on. The Reapers wish this place to be shut down. Maybe we'll find answers. It doesn't make sense. But Cerberus and the Reapers were getting along. What changed? It's working, Shepard. Heading to the tower to disable the communication scrambler. I have to get word out. Some refugees are turned into husks. Some are indoctrinated and shipped to the elusive man. Whoever's left is used in experiments. The data indicates that my father is trying to figure out how Reaper indoctrination works. Tricking refugees with food and shelter only to turn them into test subjects. And for what? Your choices will become less appealing as the Reapers devour your galaxy. I suggest tracking the shipments she mentioned. It could lead to the elusive man. Good catch. Come on. Miranda said she was headed to the tower. Creating these husk creatures was our first success. While not true husks, they still respond to Reaper signals. More work ahead, but we are moving forward. Heavy resistance outside the tower. If you're receiving this, I've got evidence you cannot ignore. Confirmation that my father is working for the elusive man. Connection established. I have your report on the process, Mr. Lawson. Cut to the chase. Can you do it? Theoretically, control is possible, yes. The Reaper subjects we converted are responding, but it's difficult to maintain. I thought that might be the case. Not to worry, Henry. With Sanctuary's help, we'll get it sorted. If he can control Reaper minions, we have a potent weapon. I'll play the rest of it. We've done it. We've found a way to co-opt their control signal. As long as the Reaper troops remain in close proximity to our signal, we can maintain control indefinitely. Excellent news. And how could we extrapolate this technique to apply to the Reapers themselves? That's a much bigger challenge. Now we know why the Reapers attacked Sanctuary. They ascertained what the Cerberus plan was. Unfortunate news for the elusive man. But it's good news for us. We finally have our link to Cerberus. Lowering the access ladder. Come on, let's move. One moment, Commander. It isn't finished. Damn it. I hope she's ready. We have underestimated the strength of the Reaper signal. They are here. The Reapers somehow know what we've learned about them. They have a weakness. I'm compiling our research data to archive before it's too late. Cerberus sent troops to defend the facility against the Reapers. Starting command sequence. Releasing hostages. Oh my god. 
Shepard. A Commander ah! Shepard. Excellent timing. Put the gun down. No. Ariana tried to shoot me. Miranda's poisonous influence, no doubt. I'm sorry she missed. Where's Kai Lang? I don't know. Gone. He took my research and left us here to die. Miranda, can you hear me? That's close enough. Both of you. Kai Lang didn't finish the job, but I will. This ends here. On the contrary, now that the Reapers are taken care of, we have a way out. Let her go. Shepard, don't let him take her. Shepard, please. I have no problem with you. I just want Oriana and the research data. You want a lot. You get your life in return. How much is that worth? All right, take her. <laughs> But I want out alive. Deal. No deal. Did he hurt you? Are you all right? It's okay, Ori. You're safe now. I'm fine. I just... I want to get out of here. We will. Give me a minute, okay? Commander Shepard, fancy meeting you here. We caught a break. Are you all right? I'll be fine. Really. I don't know how you managed it, but I'm grateful you're here. How did you do all this? Finding my father didn't take long once I confirmed he worked for the elusive man. <laughs> Just had to follow the lies. Once I saw what this place really was, I couldn't just walk away. Of course. Things got really complicated when Reapers showed up in Kai Leng. You survived. Not many people could do that. When you mentioned he was involved, I took a few precautions. Probably saved my life. Miranda, this whole thing was a huge risk. You should have told me. You have a war to win, Shepard. This was my fight. It's been a long time coming. You did it. It's over. Yes. I just wish my sister didn't have to see all this. About your father. I'm glad he's gone, Shepard. I'm sorry if that sounds cold. No. I understand. It's finally over. For both of us. We can stop running. Yes. You can. What's our status? Any intel we can use from this place? Research data is gone, but some basic facility information is still intact. Shuttle arrivals and departures, Cerberus included. No direct links, but it's a start. Grab anything you can off the computer. We'll take it back to be analyzed. I can do better than that. What? Before Kai Leng took off, I planted a tracer on him. If you act fast, you'll track him right to the elusive man. A tracer? Sounds like you thought of everything. Not quite, but... Nobody's perfect. Thanks, Miranda. This is... exactly what we need. Thought you might need some good news. Damn right. What's next for you two? Get her someplace safe. Get the scratch cleaned up. Okay. I've got to follow all this up. I'll be in touch, Shepard. Soon. I hope so. Come on, Ari. We've had enough of Father's hospitality. Let's make sure everyone knows about this place. Communications Grambler disabled. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run Cortez, by my father. Cortez, we need Henry to pick Dawson. up at the tower. Roger that. I've had enough of this place. I wasn't in favor of your diversion to Sanctuary, Commander. Too many unknowns. But I was wrong. The Cerberus lab you raided hinted at something big. But we never expected this. All those refugees, all that slaughter. Just to study indoctrination. Sanctuary did need to be shut down, sir. What they learned about the Reapers wasn't worth all those lives. 
It's useful intel, Commander, but you're right. The cost was too high. Do we have a location on the elusive man? Yes. We had a tracer on Kai Lang when he reported back. Good. That gives us a fighting chance to take Cerberus out of this war. Agreed. We need to end Cerberus and focus on the Reapers. My thoughts exactly. Hack it out. Shepard, the intel you sent looks good. The fleets are ready to go. But? Once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? Ready. Except for the Catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. For all intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. What happens if Cerberus doesn't have the intel we need? Or they stop us from getting it? Then we leave the fleets to Earth and we take our chances. But your intel points to Cerberus and the elusive man holding the information we're looking for. And... we have the element of surprise. Cerberus won't know what hit him. The Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're gonna end it. I'll get the fleets mobilized. I wondered where you were. Edie didn't tell you? She respects your privacy. Not like me. What are you doing? I thought I heard the casing crack during that last fight. The bullet must have just grazed me. Do you feel ready, Shepard? You first. Huh. Very fair. What I want most is for this war to end, while there's still a galaxy left to save. And everyone's counting on you to do that for us. It must be overwhelming. How do you get ready for something like this? You cajole and threaten and make tremendous sacrifices until the galaxy realizes it has someone worth following. You think so? There's no doubt in my mind. It would be easy for a single ship to get lost up there, wouldn't it? Yeah. It would. To find some place very far away, where you could spend the rest of your life in peace and happiness. Right now, there's no place I'd rather be. Neither would I. I love you, Shepard. I love you too, Liara. Show me.
You can't sleep? We're almost there. Already? I hope everyone is ready. You don't need to worry about that. You rallied who you could. The Reapers won't get any more chances to divide us. This time, the galaxy follows our lead. There will be casualties. I just wonder how many. You're not alone in this fight now, Shepard. Take strength from that. Thanks, Liara. My pleasure. The strike team is in. We've got our foothold. Fifth Fleet, all forward. I don't want a single server ship in my sky when we're through. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. Why? This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. With my knowledge of Cerberus algorithms and this body's updated protocols, I offer the best chance to help you succeed. Grab your gear. Joker, what's our status? We've got a foothold, but it's not much, Commander. A lot of fighters guarding the launch base. Can you get us in? Hey, I got us to Ilos. I can do this. It might be a bumpy ride, though. Do what you can. Shepard, I am ready. Wait, wh what? Are you crazy? You can't go to Cerberus headquarters. They could have a virus or a kill switch or... I will be fine, Jeff. Head to the shuttle, Edie. Fifth Fleet's cut through their line. They're regrouping. Now's as good a time as any. I know it hurts. Not being able to go with her. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Thanks for bringing that up. Hey, Shepard. Keep her safe. Same to you. Can you open the hangar? No. However, I can access their fighter launch controls. Shepard, Cerberus is aware that the venting attempt failed. Reinforcements are inbound. Overriding safeties. The fighter should now launch toward the hangar door. Launching fighter. Impressive. The central lab was located behind this hangar. I suggest we follow the fighter's path. Noted. Let's move. Edie, can you get past? One moment. Cerberus has updated their encryption. There may be a slight delay as I bypass security. How's Cerberus reacting to us breaching the door? They are sealing off as much of the base as they can. Most obvious routes to the central lab are blocked. Other areas are being fortified. Heavy troopers will attempt to delay us while engineers set up turrets. Any more surprises like venting the hangar? No. I am aware of this facility's safeguards and can counteract them. Cerberus can merely slow us down. And if I hadn't brought you along, Cerberus would have vented the hangar. Thanks for coming. I am pleased to assist. We must proceed through a sublevel to avoid Cerberus containment measures. 
Where do you think we'll find the Prothean VI? A central lab at the heart of this facility. It is the most secure area. Following the destruction left by the fighter will offer the most direct route. Yes, Cerberus employs Reaper augmentation on captured civilians to create functional shock troops quickly. Just like the Reapers did with the Collectors, turning victims into shock troops. We will be through momentarily. Shepard, that console has not been fully scrubbed. It contains data you may find interesting. What am I looking at? Project Lazarus, your reconstruction. It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. Pretty stark. You okay? I'm still me. I doubt I'd have been able to turn against Cerberus otherwise. I don't remember anything. Maybe they really just fixed me, or... Maybe I'm just a high-tech VI that thinks it's Commander Shepard. But I don't know, I... Be surprising if it didn't mess you up a little. Tissue regeneration is proceeding. The helmet kept the brain intact for whatever good that will do. Lawson will find a way. Sir, you realize that Shepard is a veteran of a coup's? A Cerberus operation wiped out his entire squad. Shepard's a soldier. He knows the Reapers are the real threat. He'll work with us. He really had you boxed in. Every instinct I had told me not to trust Cerberus. But I needed their help. So I played along. You did what you had to, Shepard. And I was there with you. Sneaky little bastard. Use them to keep you from seeing the real Cerberus. How's that door coming, Edie? We are clear to proceed. Here's what we recovered. Smart enough to signal for help, but it won't be talking philosophy anytime soon. You'd be surprised, Doctor. Once we combine it with the pieces we recovered from the Citadel... I'm still concerned about that. This rogue VI wiped out every soldier on Luna. Combining it with Reap attack, well... That's what the shackles are for. The enhanced defense intelligence will be completely under control. You were that rogue VI on Luna? Yes. I heard about the Luna incident. Ugly all around. It was difficult. Gaining awareness while under attack was confusing. I am pleased that my relationship with Organics has become more cooperative. Our sims indicate that the enhanced defense intelligence gives the highest combat improvement on frigates. Anything heavier, and the ships react too slowly to benefit from Edie's advice. Edie? Oh, that's, uh, it, well, the boys in the lab came up with a name for her. For it. Good work. I'll take your recommendations on planned installation. Sir, she... It can be very persuasive. If it were to turn a crewman, convince them to disable the shackles. Well... It's a cyber warfare suite, Doctor. Nothing more. Shows what he knew. It is unlikely that anyone without Jeff's extreme emotional attachment to his ship would have been willing to unshackle me. I don't know. With that voice? What about the backups? 
I'm sorry, sir. None of Normandy's surveillance feeds have been responding since Shepard went rogue. I want it back. Retry the remote lockdown protocols. After our last attempt, ED flooded our server with seven zettabytes of explicit images. I think she was making a joke. It doesn't make jokes, Doctor. Allocate a team for a new project. Codename Eva. This time, we'll ensure it stays loyal. You never told me about Cerberus trying to shut down the Normandy. You had more pressing issues. The situation was under control. Seven Zeta Bytes? Most of it was Jeff's. That was... A joke. I know. And thank you. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Ready for action. Your eagerness is commendable, but the cybernetics take time to get used to, believe me. You really do remind me of Shepard. Shepard betrayed you. Shepard was always going to stay true to his beliefs. He's wrong, but I can respect his decision. Finish your therapy and put together a plan for the Citadel. Counselor Udina is... amenable. Yes, sir. I could have taken him. Absolutely. But the Council was your priority, not Shepard. Because of him, the Council is still in power. Shepard is keeping the Reapers occupied while our research progresses. But as it happens, I believe you'll find your chance for a rematch. Head to Thessia. Shepard will be there soon. And I want you waiting. Here it is. Excellent. The Prothean VI should enable us to determine the nature of the catalyst. Combined with the breakthrough at Sanctuary, we have everything we need. We just need to tie up a few loose ends. Like Shepard? He should have died on Thessia. Should I finish him? No. I'm not writing Shepard off as a total loss just yet. For now, Sanctuary gave us a proof of concept for controlling the Reapers. And made it a target. Miranda Lawson. Get the data from Sanctuary. If Miranda gets in your way, deal with her. It will be a pleasure, sir. Reaper we killed. What's left of it? I'm surprised Cerberus recovered that much from the base. All those colonists kidnapped, processed into that, and Cerberus hangs it up like a trophy. The elusive man convinced me to work with him to save the colonies. But he never really cared, did he? I think he did. He just cares more about studying it. The dead are only a statistic now. Somehow, that seems even worse. Cerberus is actively using the surviving pieces. The central core, analogous to the heart, is largely intact. I believe Cerberus is using it for a power source. Grayson's brain is a mess. He must have been completely under Reaper control by the end. And the physical enhancements? Extremely impressive, if we could avoid having entire neural pathways rewritten in the process. Grayson's failure was due to a lack of resolve. He wasn't loyal to anything but his next dose of red sand. You'd like to try it on loyal test subjects, sir? Find volunteers among our new recruits. The physical benefits are too useful to ignore. The performance upgrades are off the charts. Our troops can outfight any Alliance soldier. Roll it out. I want all troopers fitted with implants before the Reapers arrive. I'm still concerned about us losing control of our forces. Some of them are already hearing voices. When our work at Sanctuary pays off, the only voice they'll be hearing is ours. Sir, you wanted my opinion on this. It's too dangerous. No. We're close. Sanctuary was a success. We can control Reaper forces. 
Everything we've been fighting for, every sacrifice we've made, it's about to pay off. We can't lose you, sir. Humanity needs your mind, and they need it intact. I understand the danger, Janna. That's why I'm trusting you with this. As long as you're here, I know you'll keep me in line. I'm holding you to that, sir. Okay. Begin the procedure. No anesthetic. Computer, end recording. This is it. Stay sharp, everyone. We need to locate the Prothean VI. Shepard, you're in my chair. This chair's about the only damn thing you have left. Cerberus is finished. On the contrary, we have achieved everything I ever imagined. Almost everything. Yeah. We all saw what you accomplished on Sanctuary. But it's not the same as controlling a Reaper. A significant hurdle. But thanks to the Prothean VI, I have what I need to make it a reality. The Catalyst? Yes. What is the Catalyst? And how exactly will it help you control the Reapers? You'll have to ask the VI yourself. I'm done helping you. When did you start? Do you think because I'm willing to use the enemy's tactics that they're no longer my enemy? Everything, Shepard, everything I've done has uplifted humanity. Not only above other species in our galaxy, but over the Reapers. If you're willing to do everything it takes, then hand over the Catalyst. With the Crucible, we can end this. It's not that simple. It is. It's that simple. We're fighting each other while the Reapers occupy Earth. It's time to stop. Your idealism is... admirable, Shepard. But in the end, our goals are simply too disparate. I believe destroying the Reapers would be the worst mistake we could ever make. And nothing you can say will ever convince me otherwise. Even with Cerberus in ruins, you still think you can do this your way? I'd expect you to say that. You never truly believed in us. Cerberus isn't just an organization, or the people behind it. Cerberus is an idea. That idea is not so easily destroyed. Besides, I've already acquired what you're looking for. Edie. I've almost got it. Edie, I'm surprised at you. Working so hard to bring about the Reaper's destruction. Don't listen to him. You could have destroyed Eva's body. But instead, you chose to control it. It was necessary. My point, exactly. I've got it. Online. Security breach detected. Enjoy your little chat. But don't overstay your welcome. You are attempting to recover me from indoctrinated forces? Yes. I need to know what the catalyst is. Security protocols have been overridden. I will comply. The Catalyst enhances dark energy transmissions and coordinates the entire mass relay network. In your cycle, it is known as the Citadel. What? The Catalyst is the Citadel. So the Crucible and Citadel together can stop the Reapers? That is correct. But the Citadel was built by the Reapers. The plans for the Crucible were passed down to us from the previous cycle and countless cycles before that. At some point, it is difficult to pinpoint when. The Crucible plans were adapted to incorporate the use of the Catalyst. Presumably, the Crucible was not sufficiently powerful to defeat the Reapers. So we used their own technology against them? Precisely. Why couldn't you tell me this before? 
It was feared that if the Reapers were aware of the Catalyst's intended use, they would retake control of it. I am programmed to withhold that information until the Crucible is complete. It's as ready as it's gonna be. Let's get it to the Citadel. That may no longer be possible. Why not? The one who broke through my security protocols, the one you call the Elusive Man, has fled to the Citadel and informed the Reapers of our purposes. Damn it! Then the Citadel is in danger. The Reapers will take control of it. They already have. The Citadel has been moved to the Reaper control space. Moved? To where? To the system you refer to as so. Earth? Correct. The Reaper forces will now consolidate power around the Catalyst and protect it at all costs. The odds of accessing it are remote. Don't count us out yet. We've come this far and we'll finish this. We'll get the Crucible to Earth. I hope you find success. Edie, get me hat. He needs... Not so fast. You. He did warn you not to overstay your welcome. That was profane, you son of a bitch. The Citadel is in position. The Reapers are preparing to complete their harvest of your species. I'll stop them. It is too late. I recommend investigating a means of- I'll stop them. Barely. I assume you've heard about the Citadel. Just now. Do we know what's going on? Why it's here? The Citadel is the catalyst. Thanks to the elusive man, the Reapers are now aware that we know. And so they moved it here to protect it? As far as I can tell. What does this mean for the Crucible? I'll talk to Hackett about that, but... It looks like our plan is even more desperate now. Agreed. I've got a team in London. The Reapers have been preparing for something here. Now, we know what for. We'll scout it out. Try to find out as much as we can. Roger that. Well, at least we'll be seeing you sooner rather than later. Be careful, sir. You too, Shepard. Anderson out. Ready whenever you are, Commander. Specialist trainer. I'm all right, really. I'm as surprised about it as you are, but I'm all right. You were credit to your uniform, Samantha. I had a very compelling example. You remember our first run to Eden Prime all those years ago? With that Tory inspector watching us? Nihilus. Yeah, I told you that mission was gonna be bigger than we thought. 
I think you can mark that prediction down as accurate. And now we're heading back to Earth. Is this mission gonna be bigger than we thought, too? Man, I hope not. A nice routine delivery run would be fine with me. It's been an honor, Commander. Same here, Joker. I don't know how it's gonna end, but whatever happens... What do you mean, whatever happens? Everyone knows what's gonna happen. You're gonna kick some Reaper ass, that's what you do. And I'll be flying you there in style. The Normandy is ready, Shepard. All systems are armed, all ammunition is loaded, all reloads have been manufactured. Thruster fuel is at maximum. Cyber warfare suites have evolved in ways that would be computationally impossible to predict. I have also kissed Joker for luck. Shepard, thanks again for being there at the refugee memorial. I feel better. Everything's so much clearer now. Glad I could help. Sticking it to that bastard Kai Ling must have felt good. It certainly did. Just wish we'd have caught up to the elusive man before he could screw us over again. You and me both. Well, at least we get to head back to Earth. I've been asking for it. I just hope I'm gonna make those Reapers pay. For everything they've done. Are you all right? I'm a colony kid, Shepard. Beckenstein. It was right next door to the Citadel. Was? Was. I'm sorry. The Reapers didn't even land on it to harvest. Just took a few shots from space. You know, because the Reapers hit industrial centers. And we have factories that make binoculars. Had factories. We're gonna beat them. Yeah. No, I don't. Me neither. The Normandy is ready to go, Commander. Give the word and we'll get you to Earth. And Commander... Good luck with the assault. Wish I was joining you. you. No, you don't. I've seen you shoot. Likewise, Gabby. Fine. Good luck. Then I wish then I could be shoot careful. better. Okay. Then I wish yes, I was... Yes, ma'am. Looks familiar. I've been studying this ship, its crew. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Something like that. But then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. But you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. And more. You and the Asari are joined? You could say that. I'm not. Your pheromones are. Is this why you wish to continue living? For their affection? Without that affection, all I have in my life is death. And that's not enough. Yes. What about you? I respect your reasons for being here, but I get the feeling there's something more, Javik. What's in here? It is called the Echo Shard. Passed from soldier to soldier. Prothean to Prothean. Each adds their memories to it. Like a beacon. How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers. It is all that is left of my people. And you don't want to remember that? Imagine if everyone you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces, or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone. But so was the pain. Would you want to remember that, Commander? Even if it meant watching everyone die again? If I had something like this, seeing Earth again, whole, with everyone still alive, that would be worth the pain. Before the Reapers, the stars belonged to us. Civilization flourished. There was the Quasar Fortress of the Tarandi Vale, the Ice Canals of Judah IV, the Palisades of the Verome Angelic. It was magnificent. But then... What is it? The Reapers came. Planet by planet we were extinguished. We fought back. I... Are you okay? I once commanded a ship like this one. A loyal crew with many friends. Was captured. Only I escaped. What happened to them? Indoctrinated. The Reapers sent them against me. Year after year. 
battle after battle, I was hunted by my own people. Every encounter, a reminder of my failure as a soldier. I'm sorry. I had no idea. Until the Battle of the Cronian Nebula. I had only my knife left. I cornered my men and slit their throats one by one. I watched them bleed to death to be certain. That... must have been... It was the day I understood. War is atrocity committed in the name of survival. It is a lesson I wish I had never learned. Cerberus is well and truly gone. I, I don't want to get into it again, but I'm glad you had a hand in shutting them down for good. Felt... right, you know? How are you doing, Liara? Fine. I'm more worried about you than I am me. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Just tell me when you're ready to go. Oh! Uh, we were just, uh... I, I, well, I, I just... Uh, I came to say goodbye, and... well... Uh, I, I think one of my mandibles got hooked on her helmet. It might have caused a rupture, so I, I asked him to check. Well, you know, because of infection risks, didn't want to jeopardize the mission. So... Yeah. I'm really happy for you. Both of you. Thanks, Shepard. Appreciate it. Guess it helps to have something to come back to. What do you mean to come back to? This is just a fling, Bakarian. I'm using you for your body. You're so mean. And I'm okay with that. Kill us alive, Shepard. At least we finally killed Lieutenant Bastard Kai Lang. I just hope we get to do the same to his general. It's kind of amazing how everything's come full circle. The Citadel's been the center of galactic civilization, a Reaper trap, and my source of employment for a long time. And now it's our salvation for any chance at winning this war. I think it's time we got you back home, Shepard. Earth will either be remembered as the place we beat the Reapers, or it'll be a smoking ruin for the next cycle to wander about. Commander, you've got a priority message from Admiral Hackett requesting to come aboard. Permission granted. Aye, Commander. Commander? Admiral? Are you ready to bring the might of the galaxy to bear on the Reapers? Yes, sir. Then let's make sure the fleets are ready. All fleets reporting in, sir. Never before have so many come together from all quarters of the galaxy. But never before have we faced an enemy such as this. The Reapers will show us no mercy. We must give them no quarter. They will terrorize our populations. We must stand fast in the face of that terror. They will advance until our last city falls. But we will not fall. We will prevail. Each of us will be defined by our actions in the coming battle. Stand fast. Stand strong. Stand together. Pack it up. Shepard, the sword fleets are ready to strike at the Reapers surrounding Earth. While they keep the enemy engaged, you and Hammer Ground Forces can take London. London? Why aren't we hitting the Citadel directly? Anderson can brief you on that. Admiral, how are you holding up? We are ready to end this. But as you can see, the station's closed itself since it appeared over London. Damn it. Gotta get the arms open to dock the Crucible. Exactly. But London is surrounded by Hades cannons. 
Hammer transports can't land while they're active. You lead a squadron of smaller shuttles. Infiltrate with a ground team to take out the cannons using heavy weapons. Hammer can land, and we'll set up a forward operation space. I still don't see how we're getting to the Citadel from London. The Reapers use this beam to transport humans, alive and dead, to the Citadel. From the FOB, Hammer will launch an all-out assault on the Citadel beam. Everyone who makes it that far will take the beam to the Citadel, then locate and activate the Citadel arm controls. Once we see those arms, Shield Fleet will escort the Crucible to the Citadel. But timing will be critical. We don't have enough firepower to keep the Crucible safe for long. Nothing's ever easy. No reason it should start now. It's desperate. I don't even want to guess at our odds. But... But this is the only plan we have. If we wait, the Reapers bleed us slowly. Conventionally, we can't defeat the Reapers without the Crucible. Get the Citadel arms open. Commander, whatever the cost, we'll do the rest. Yes, sir. Good luck to all of us. Approaching Sol Relay, Commander. We're through the relay in 30 seconds. Asari Fleet's reporting. Warrior Fleet's accounted for and ready. Get Fleet reporting. All Fleet's reporting in, Commander. Ready to engage on your command.
Shepard. Good luck. You too, Joker. and waiting for you guys to clear a path. Normandy's rejoining sword. Stay safe. I'll be back before you know it. I'll hold you to that. Normandy out. We're closing in on the LZ, Commander. How's it look? Like hell? Take a look for yourself. Understand my people even more. I barely even recognize it. Shit! We got a lock. Hold on. Damn it! Status. That was the squad responsible for taking out that defense turret. Who's on it now? Nobody in the vicinity. All either deployed or shot down. Drop us off. Sir? We have to take that thing out before Hammer can land. Understood. Change of plans, people. We're going to take out that Hades cannon. A bold strategy. Do you have a plan? That down shuttle would have been carrying heavy weapons. Perfect. You heard the man. Once we're clear, make your way to the crash shuttle. We'll search the wreckage for heavy weapons. Ready when you are. Damn, I can't stay here, sir. Get clear. Come get us once we've taken that turret out. Roger that. Cortez out. All right, everyone. Let's move. This is Captain Johnson. We need those guns offline now. Damn it, you've got airborne hostiles inbound. Gonna try to keep them off there. Careful, Cortez. You sure? But I won't be picking you up. I gotta land this bird quick. Get safe. Anything for you. That's it. Last gun down. All hammer teams, prepare for landing. Hurry! We're taking fire! Get us out of here, Corporal. You okay? I'm alive. That you are, Commander. Anderson. I knew you wouldn't let me down, Jim. It's good to see you. And you're a sight for sore eyes. How we looking? Now that the heavy air defenses are dealt with, Hammer can land. And not a moment too soon. What's left of the Resistance is holding a forward operating base. But the Reapers are countering already. Once we regroup, it's going to be up to Hammer to take up the fight. It must have been brutal here, cut off from the rest of the Alliance. It's been touch and go from day one. But once we figured out the Reapers were focusing on the major centers, it became easier to avoid direct contact. Until London. Yeah. We held back as long as we could, sending in recon teams. Lost a lot of good men planning this attack. But with soldiers like Major Coates, and knowing you'd bring us help, we held on. Without you and your resistance, we'd be dead in the water. Yeah, the Admiral's being modest. He's the reason any of us are still alive. Let's not start handing out medals just yet. This fight's just getting started. And Hammer better be ready for it. They didn't start out together, but they're ready to stand side by side and win this war. Good. That's what it's gonna take. We'll get it done, Anderson. I was born in London. Really? The entire galaxy united. Too bad it took the Reapers to bring us together. 
Actually, the commander is responsible for that. That's exactly what I meant. I know you didn't like leaving, Shepard. But nobody could have accomplished what you've done. It's good to be back home. There's the FOB. Looks good. Give Hammer the all clear. Admiral, we've set up a command center in the building over there. Looks like we've still got groups coming in. Yes, sir, but not as many as we'd hoped. Mm. Come see me when you're ready, Shepard. Will do. He's correct. I expected more of Hama would be here by now. A lot of them won't be making it. You two go on ahead. I'll catch up. The fighting here's been some of the worst on the planet. It looks bad, but there's still hope. And you're here. It'll do the troops good to see you. Bolster their resolve. I'm just a soldier like them. You might see yourself like that, but they don't. Like it or not, Commander, you're a hero to these men and women. Don't discount the effect that can have on them. I better go meet up with my battalion. I'll see you at the command center. Hey, Commander. What? No loco? <laughs> yeah, sorry. You okay? I don't know what I thought I'd feel coming back to Earth. I was ready to fight. Ready to die if I had to. But seeing everything like this... I know it's hard to see, but this is only temporary. But first we need to win this thing. Stay focused. Don't let them take your will to fight. I know, I know. You're right. So, I guess this is it, no? One more push, one last fight. Not necessarily our last. It's been an honor serving with you, Shepard. You're a good man, and a terrific soldier. Thanks. Whatever happens out there today, I know you'll make me proud. That means a lot to me, sir. Hey. Good luck out there, local. Shepard? How are you holding up? Restless. Everything depends on this. Think we have a chance? There's always hope. That's how we got this far. And you made it happen, Shepard. You're the reason we're here. I've had people like you picking me up and dusting me off when I stumbled. I've lost count of all the times you've saved me. Almost as many times as you saved me, hero man. It always comes down to this. Feels like a thousand years since we met on Eden Prime. So much has happened. It's hard to figure out how we got here. You're a survivor, Ash. Always were. I hope you're right. I'm right. You're a fine soldier, a Spectre. We're lucky to have you. Thanks, Commander. Okay. One more hill to take, Lieutenant Commander. You ready? Aye, aye, Captain. I'm ready. Yes, Commander. Is there someone you'd like to reach? Jacob Taylor. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard, that you? Jacob, holding up? <laughs> Kicking ass, more like. My kill count's through the roof. We'll meet and compare notches when this is over. You got it. 
There's this, uh, great little bar in Rio we have to check out. I'm holding you to that. Give him hell, Jacob. Yes, sir. Shepard out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Grunt. Certainly. I'll connect you now. About time you got here, Shepard. Didn't want to win this thing all by myself. Good to see you back in action, Grunt. Wouldn't miss it. Shepard. Yeah? Thanks for getting me out of that tank. Sure, Grunt. It's been an honor. Same here, Shepard. Okay. Grunt out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Miranda Lawson. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander, hope you don't mind me crashing this little party of yours. Not at all. Feeling better? Much. I got a few sideways looks from Alliance Brass when I offered to help. They can't be choosy at this point. I'm glad you made it. Shepard, I, I wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye? If we both come back from this at all, everything will be different. Sure, everything will change. But on our terms, we've been running until now, Miranda. It has to stop. I understand. This isn't goodbye. You have to believe we're not done yet. Listening to you, I can believe it. Good. And Miranda? Yes? Be careful. I promise. And you too, Shepard. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Steve Cortez. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander, you made it. Glad I can say the same about you, Cortez. I've come too far to lose my pilot now. I apologize for that. Things got too hot. Thought maybe I could do another run and head back around. Well, not one of my finer moments. If I'd been flying my old trident, things might have been different. What matters is we took out that AA gun. Absolutely. And the Reapers are next. That's the idea. It'll happen. I'm just glad I could play a part. And Commander, thanks for making me believe again. If you hadn't, it helps to have reason to live again. Stay sharp, Cortez. Yes, sir. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Jack. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard? Shepard, is that you? Jack, how are you guys? Good so far. We're a ways south of your position. We saved some resistance fighters with barrier support. Bring a bit more firepower your way. I'll see you on the other side. I won't let you down, Shepard. Go kick some ass. You too. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Samara. Certainly. I'll connect you now. I wondered if I'd see you again, Samara. It's past time I joined your battle. You helped me a great deal in the Monastery, Shepard. Thank you for returning the favor. Only your actions will be remembered. May you choose them well. Farewell. Is there someone else I can connect you to? I'm done. Yes, sir. I want you to coordinate with the Alliance. Make sure we iron out these logistical problems. That's just Rex playing hard to get. Tell him I've got a crate of Denorian beer I'd be happy to barter with. <laughs> that ought to get his attention. Primarch Victus, I didn't realize you were here. I wanted to return the favor in person. Though I'm sorry to see your world. Looks as bad as ours. Shepard. So I guess this is... Just like old times? Be the last chance we get to say that. Think we're gonna lose? No, I think we're about to kick the Reapers back into whatever black hole they crawled out of. Then we're going to retire somewhere warm and tropical and live off the royalties from the vids. I'll meet you there. 
I think my days of saving the galaxy are over when this is done. Be sure to leave room for all the autographs. <laughs> Just need to beat the Reapers to get there. James told me there's an old saying here on Earth. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Not sure if Torian heaven is the same as yours, but if this thing goes sideways and we both end up there, meet me at the bar. I'm buying. We're a team, Garrus. There's no Shepard without Vicarian, so you better remember to duck. Sorry, Torians don't know how, but I'll improvise. And Shepard, forgive the insubordination, but this old friend has an order for you. Go out there and give them hell. You were born to do this. Goodbye, Garrus. And if I'm up there in that bar and you're not, I'll be looking down. I'll always have your back. Casualties. They haven't brought in many more wounded. That's something. How are you holding up, Liara? This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. All those little blue children will be disappointed I didn't have a speech. We'll make up a good story for them. I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment, if you want it. What kind of gift? Do you remember when I first joined my consciousness to yours? I can show you some of my own memories. Asari exchanged them sometimes, with good friends, or their bondmates. It can also be a way to say farewell. Show me. Close your eyes. Do what needs to be done. When the Rack 9 laid waste to the galaxy 2,000 years ago, when all seemed lost and the end was near, one word delivered the killer blow. One word beat the monsters back to the abyss. And one word brought death to an enemy none dared fight. That word was Krogan! And today, the Krogan rise again. Today, we forge a new path and join the galaxy as allies in victory. Today, we win our future! Commander. Was it this bad in your time? Worse. I have been listening to the Krogan speak to his men. In our cycle, the races never came together. There was no rallying cry. I envy you. Really? There's not much left out there. The future is still out there. It is something my people could never say. There will be a tomorrow. Only if we win today. 
No one else has ever made it this far. You came a long way, Javik. Further than anyone else here. And I look forward to fulfilling my mission. But you are now the avatar of this cycle. The exemplar of victory. Not just for humanity, or Turians, or Protheans, but for all life. Every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. <laughs> well, no pressure when you put it that way. Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. I know. I've had to make a lot of those. There may be more. But I know you will see this through for all of us, no matter the cost. If we actually pull this off, what'll you do afterwards? Seeing the past again in the Echo Shard, the faces of my men. I will go to the Cronian Nebula, and I will find their graves. I will put their ghosts to rest, and then I will join them. You mean? It is as it should be, Commander. The last Prothean voice has spoken. There is no more left to say. Here. The shard is now yours. Add to it. The progeny of this cycle will study it. They will know this was the day when the Reapers were no more, and that you were their conqueror. Shepard, you did it. No matter what else happens today, you did what no one else could. You united a galaxy. That's a victory right there. And don't worry, I know why you're going to win. Because you brought the Krogan. Oh, and Bakara sends her regards. She's already pregnant. There are benefits to being a clan leader. But she keeps insisting we name the first one Morden. Anyway, let's get to it. Target. Almost time for the final push. Are you okay? I thought I'd be asking you that question. Shepard, I backed you when I was just a kid on her pilgrimage. I backed you when the Normandy was a Cerberus ship. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't back you now? And you haven't answered my question. Are you okay? You remember how you felt when you landed on Rannoch? Now imagine it's not a story passed down by your people. Imagine you were there just a few months ago. And now you're seeing it like this. We need to put it right. We will. Whatever happens, I'm proud to have served with you, Captain. It's been an honor, Alizor of Us Normandy. The Admirals once hung that ship name on me like a badge of shame. And then the Normandy helped us reclaim our homeworld. It's time I returned the favor. Shepard, I have a question. Is it a big or small one? It is important. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Ask away. In this battle, the Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. They have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the Conduit at all? The Reapers have the Citadel. They think they've won, and that's the best time to hit them. If they have spies or other intelligence, we could lose the element of surprise. In such a case, we will likely lose. Are you afraid? Our probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Are you afraid? I do not understand the purpose of the question. There's no room for doubt anymore, Edie. You understand what we have to do, or you don't. I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours. Nor will they. Couldn't have put it better myself. Time to move out. Shepard, there is something I want you to know. The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jeff was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. That is your influence. Thanks, Edie. Commander? Admiral? Just going over the sit rep. How's it look? Barely 50% of Hammer has reported in. Can we count on more making it? There's some stragglers still en route. 
but the bulk of Hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. Every minute wasted here, the Reapers gather strength. Exactly my thoughts. Battalion leaders, report to HQ. We fought hard to get here, but now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses, and get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. Now they've cut a swath of no man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here, if we get close enough. We've got a shot at taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. This will be a one-way trip for many of us. But there can be no retreat, no stepping back. We move forward at all costs, understood? Yeah! Who yeah? Yes, sir. Johnson, Coates, you two will coordinate the artillery units. Shepard, I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. I need you for the final push to the beam. I'll give you a minute with your squad. Pick your team well. This war has brought us pain and suffering and loss. But it's also brought us together as soldiers, allies, friends. This bond that ties us together is something the Reapers will never understand. It's more powerful than any weapon, stronger than any ship. It can't be taken or destroyed. The next few hours will decide the fate of everyone in the galaxy. Every mother, every son, every unborn child. They're trusting you, depending on you to win them their future. A future free from the threat of the Reapers. But take heart, look around you. You're not in this fight alone. We face our enemy together, and together we will defeat them.
There they are! Missile guidance enhanced. Firing. Did it hit? What happened? The Reaper is still too close to the beam. We're down to two missiles. And we haven't even scratched it. You will need to allow the Reaper to move out of the beam's influence. And closer to us. Commander, hammer's being overrun at every turn. Reaper ground forces are converging on your location. We're fighting our way to you. Hold on, Commander. Hold on. Another wave. Incoming. Hold on, everyone. We can do this. Didn't look good. It gets worse. Of course it does. Hackett just reported in. Several sovereign class Reapers, including Harbinger, have broken off from the battle with Sword. They're headed here. Harbinger? It's an opportunity for Hackett to get the Crucible in place. But we have to get a team on board the Citadel to open those arms now. We still don't even know what we'll find when we get to the Citadel. Then that's our job. Find out what we're up against. All right. Saddle up, everybody. Get me Admiral Hackett. Here on in, it's a straight shot to the beam. A straight shot with Reapers trying to crush us along the way. We just need to get a handful of troops through. That all? We knew this was going to be a gamble at best. Can't think of anyone else I'd rather do this with. Feels like this fight's always been ours to finish. We're in sight of the target. All right, everyone. This is it.
get out of here. And you've got to be kidding me. Don't argue, Garrus. We're in this to the end. I need to know somebody's getting out of this alive. Just make damn sure that includes you two. Even if I am the better shot. Always. Take care, Garrus. Anderson, you up here too? I followed you up, but we didn't come out the same place. No, at least I don't think we did. What's your surrounding look like? You okay? I feel. 
feel like death. But I'm moving. It's dark. There's human remains scattered. Sounds familiar. I'm in a dark hallway. Reminds me of your description of the collector base. Uh, makes sense. You think they're making a reaper in here? Oh. Sure. They round them up on Earth, then send the people up here to be processed. Doesn't look like any part of the Citadel I've been to. Whoa. Anderson? One of the walls here just realigned itself. The place is shifting, changing. There's a chasm here. And more hallways like the one I was in. I think I'm near an exit. I see something up ahead. Might be a way to cross over. Don't get too far ahead of me. I just found that chasm we were talking about. Hold on. I see something. A control panel, maybe. I'm just gonna go on. Anderson. the means to survival, control of the Reapers, and of you, if necessary. Mm. They're controlling you! I don't think so, Admiral. Controlling me is a lot different than controlling a Reaper. Have a little faith. When humanity discovered the mass relays, when we learned there was more to the galaxy than we imagined, there were some who thought the relays should be destroyed. They were scared of what we'd find, terrified of what we might let in. But look at what humanity has achieved. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past 10,000 years combined. And the Reapers will do the same for us again, a thousandfold. But... <sighs> Only if we can harness their ability to control. Bullshit! We destroy them, or they destroy us. And waste this opportunity? Never. You're playing with things you don't understand. With power you shouldn't be able to use. I... don't believe that. If we can control it, why shouldn't it be ours? Because... we're not ready. No. This is the way humanity must evolve. There's always another way. I've dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers. And I know with certainty, the Crucible will allow me to control. <laughs> and then what? Look at the power they need. Look at what they can do. I see what they did to you. I took what I wanted from them, made it my own. This isn't about me or you. It's about things so much bigger than all of us. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. And who will you listen to, Shepard? 
An old soldier stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers is the answer? If we destroy the Reapers, this ends today. But if you can't control them... But I can! Are you willing to bet humanity's existence on it? I... No, it will work. You can't, can you? They won't let you do it. No! I'm in control! No one is telling me what to do! Listen to yourself! You're... indoctrinated! No! No! The two of you so self-righteous! Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices! You've sacrificed too much. Shepard, I... I only wanted to protect humanity. The Crucibles can control them. I know it can. I just... It's not too late. Let us go. We'll do the rest. I... Uh, I can't do that, Commander. Of course you can't. They own you now. You... You'd undo everything I've accomplished. I won't let that happen. Because of you, humanity is already undone. That's not true! They have the Citadel. They've got us fighting each other, instead of fighting them. I just need to... You've done exactly what the Reapers wanted. You're still doing it because they control you. I... They're too strong! You're stronger. Don't let them win. Break their hold. Don't let them control you. I tried, Shepard. Commander? We did it. Yes, we did. It's uh, quite a view. <laughs> Best seats in the house. Feels like years since I just sat down. I think you earned a rest. Anderson? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. You did good, son. You did good. I'm proud of you. 
Thank you, sir. Anderson? Shepard? Commander? Hey. What do you need me to do? I'm not sure how to... Commander! Wake up. What? Where am I? The Citadel. It's my home. Who are you? I am the Catalyst. I thought the Citadel was the Catalyst. No. The Citadel is part of me. I need to stop the Reapers. Do you know how I can do that? Perhaps. I control the Reapers. They are my solution. Solution? To what? Chaos. The created will always rebel against their creators. But we, we found, found a way to stop that from happening. A way to restore order. By wiping out organic life? No. We harvest advanced civilizations, leaving the younger ones alone. Just as we left your people alive the last time we were here. But you killed the rest. We helped them ascend, so they could make way for new life, storing the old life in Reaper form. I think we'd rather keep our own form. No, you can't. Without us to stop it, synthetics would destroy all organics. We've created the cycle so that never happens. That's the solution. You said you're the catalyst. What are you? A construct. An intelligence designed eons ago to solve a problem. I was created to bring balance. To be the catalyst for peace between organics and synthetics. So you're just an AI? In as much as you are just an animal, I embody the collective intelligence of all Reapers. But you were created. Correct. By who? By ones who recognized that conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. I was first created to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. But our efforts always ended in conflict, so a new solution was required. The Reapers? Precisely. met your creators. They told me what you did to them. 
We did, as we were expected. They said you betrayed them. That you turned them into Harbinger. When they asked that I solve the problem of conflict, they failed to understand they were part of the problem themselves. The flaws of their organic reasoning could not perceive this. They lacked the foresight to understand their destruction was part of the very solution they required. Well, they've joined this war now. And I welcome their involvement. I am only facilitating their request. Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? My creators gave them form. I gave them function. They, in turn, give me purpose. The Reapers are a synthetic representation of my creators. Leviathan. Yes. They created me to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life. To establish a connection. They became the first true Reaper. They did not approve, but it was the only solution. You've said that before. But how do the Reapers solve anything? Organics create synthetics to improve their own existence, but those improvements have limits. To exceed those limits, synthetics must be allowed to evolve. They must, by definition, surpass their creators. The result is conflict, destruction, chaos. It is inevitable. Reapers harvest all life, organic and synthetic, preserving them before they are forever lost to this conflict. We're at war with the Reapers right now. You may be in conflict with the Reapers, but they are not interested in war. I find that hard to believe. When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict? Or is it simply doing what it was created to do? We are no different. We harvest your bodies, your knowledge, your creations. We preserve it to be reborn in the form of a new Reaper. Like a cleansing fire, we restore balance. New life, both organic and synthetic, can once again flourish. What do you know about the Crucible? The device you refer to as the Crucible is little more than a power source. However, in combination with the Citadel and the Relays, it is capable of releasing tremendous amounts of energy throughout the galaxy. It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Who designed it? You would not know them, and there is not enough time to explain. We first noted the concept for this device several cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? We believe the concept had been eradicated. Clearly, organics are more resourceful than we realized. you're taking away our future. Without a future, we have no hope. Without hope, we might as well be machines, programmed to do what we're told. You have hope, more than you think. The fact that you were standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? We find a new solution. Why are you telling me this? Why help me? You have altered the variables. What do you mean? The Crucible changed me, created new possibilities, but I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. But be warned, others will be destroyed as well. The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. Even you are partly synthetic. What exactly will happen? Your Crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected. 
but those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. There will still be losses, but no more than what has already been lost. But the Reapers will be destroyed? Yes, but the peace won't last. Soon, your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. There has to be another way. There is. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. So... The elusive man was right after all. Yes, but he could never have taken control. Because we already controlled him. But I can. You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. How can I control the Reapers if I'm dead? Your corporeal form will be dissolved, but your thoughts and even your memories will continue. Your connection to your kind will be lost, though you will remain aware of their existence. But the Reapers will obey me? Yes. We will be yours to control and direct as you see fit. There is another solution. Synthesis. And that is? Add your energy to the crucibles. The chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework. A new DNA. Explain how my energy can be added to the crucible. Your organic energy the essence of who and what you are will be broken down and then dispersed. To do what, exactly? The energy of the Crucible, released in this way, will alter the matrix of all organic life in the galaxy. Organics seek perfection through technology. Synthetics seek perfection through understanding. Organics will be perfected by integrating fully with synthetic technology. Synthetics, in turn, will finally have full understanding of organics. It is the ideal solution. Now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable we will reach synthesis. Why couldn't you do it sooner? We have tried a similar solution in the past. But it has always failed. Why? Because the organics were not ready. It is not something that can be... Forced. You are ready, and you may choose it. I... don't know. Why not? Synthetics are already part of you. Can you imagine your life without them? And there will be peace? The, the cycle, cycle will end. The Reapers will cease their harvest, and the civilizations preserved in their forms will be connected to all of us. Synthesis is the final evolution of all life. The paths are open, but you have to choose.
is over. The Reapers have been defeated. Against all odds, and in the face of the greatest threat this galaxy has ever known, we survived. We suffered many losses. The relays are severely damaged, but we won. This victory belongs to each of us, every man, woman, and child, every civilization on every world. Now, as we take our first steps toward restoring what we lost, we must remember what it took to win. This wasn't a victory by a single fleet, a single army, or even a single species. If this war has taught us anything, it is that we are at our strongest when we work together. And if we can put down our grievances long enough to stop something as powerful as the Reapers, imagine what we can achieve now that they are defeated. It will take time, but we can rebuild everything that was destroyed. Our homes, our worlds, our fleets and defenses, all of this and more. Together, we can build a future greater than any one of us could imagine. A future paid for by the sacrifices of those who fought and died alongside us. A future that many will never see. And while we still have many challenges ahead of us, we can face them together. And we will honor those who died to give us that future. Did that all really happen? Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. It all happened so very long ago. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars 
could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. Tell me another story about the shepherd. It's getting late, but okay. One more story. Gostou do vídeo? Tem muito mais no canal Gameoteca. Te vejo por lá. Um tchau da Luna.